Welcome to Morning Prayer for Wednesday of the second week of Lent. Morning Prayer is a daily part of the Liturgy of the Hours, the unceasing and universal prayer of the whole people of God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the Rock who saves us. Let us approach Him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in His hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down at worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn, as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, They are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, They shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. O God, all your ways are holy. What God can compare with our God? I cry aloud to God, cry aloud to God that he may hear me. In the day of my distress I sought the Lord. My hands were raised at night without ceasing. My soul refused to be consoled. I remembered my God, and I groaned. I pondered, and my spirit fainted. You withheld sleep from my eyes. I was troubled. I could not speak. I thought of the days of long ago, and remembered the years long past. At night I mused within my heart. I pondered, and my spirit questioned, Will the Lord reject us forever? Will He show us His favor no more? Has His love vanished forever? Has His promise come to an end? Does God forget His mercy, or in anger withhold His compassion? I said, This is what causes my grief, that the way of the Most High has changed. I remember the deeds of the Lord. I remember your wonders of old. I muse on all your works and ponder your mighty deeds. Your ways, O God, are holy. What God is great is our God. You are the God who works wonders. You showed your power among the peoples. Your strong arm redeemed your people, the sons of Jacob and Joseph. The waters saw you, O God. The waters saw you and trembled. The depths were moved with terror. The clouds poured down rain. The skies sent forth their voice. Your arrows flashed to and fro. Your thunder rolled round the sky. Your flashes lighted up the world. The earth was moved and trembled when your way led through the sea. Your path through the mighty waters, and no one saw your footprints. You guided your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Father, you established your ancient covenant by signs and wonders, but more wondrously, you confirmed the new one through the sacrifice of your Son. 
Guide your church through the pathways of life, that we may be led to the land of promise and celebrate your name with lasting praise. O God, all your ways are holy. What God can compare with our God? My heart leaps up with joy to the Lord, for He humbles only to exalt us. My heart exalts in the Lord. My horn is exalted in my God. I have swallowed up my enemies. I rejoice in my victory. There is no holy one like the Lord. There is no rock like our God. Speak boastfully no longer nor let arrogance issue from your mouths, for an all-knowing God is the Lord, a God who judges deeds. The bows of the mighty are broken, while the tottering gird on strength. The well-fed hire themselves out for bread, while the hungry batten on spoil. The barren wife bears seven sons, while the mother of many languishes. The Lord puts to death and gives life, he casts down to the nether world and raises up again. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He humbles, he also exalts. He raises the needy from the dust. From the ash heap, he lifts up the poor to seat them with nobles and make a glorious throne their heritage. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's, and he has set the world upon them. He will guard the footsteps of his faithful ones, but the wicked shall perish in the darkness. For not by strength does man prevail. The Lord's foes shall be shattered. The Most High in heaven thunders. The Lord judges the ends of the earth. Now may he give strength to his king and exalt the horn of his anointed. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. My heart leaps up with joy to the Lord, for He humbles only to exalt us. The Lord is King. Let the earth rejoice. The Lord is King. Let earth rejoice. Let all the coastlands be glad. Cloud and darkness are His raiment, His throne, justice and right. A fire prepares His path. It burns up his foes on every side. His lightnings light up the world. The earth trembles at the sight. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord of all the earth. The skies proclaim his justice. All peoples see his glory. Let those who serve idols be ashamed, those who boast of their worthless gods. All you spirits, worship him. Zion hears and is glad. The people of Judah rejoice because of your judgments, O Lord. For you indeed are the Lord, most high above all the earth, exalted far above all spirits. The Lord loves those who hate evil. He guards the souls of his saints. He sets them free from the wicked. Light shines forth for the just and joy for the upright of heart. Rejoice, you just in the Lord. Give glory to his holy name. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Father, you clothe the sky with light, and the depths of the ocean with darkness. Among the sons of men you work wonders, and rain terror upon the enemy. Look upon your servants. Do not try us by fire, but bring us rejoicing to the shelter of your home. The Lord is King. Let the earth rejoice. 
The Lord, your God, has chosen you from all the nations on the face of the earth to be a people peculiarly his own. It was because the Lord loved you and because of his fidelity to the oath he had sworn to your fathers that he brought you out with his strong hand from the place of slavery and ransomed you from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Understand then that the Lord your God is God indeed, the faithful God who keeps his merciful covenant to the thousandth generation toward those who love him and keep his commandments. The Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. The Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Let us give thanks to God our Father. Through the power of the Spirit, he purifies our hearts and strengthens us in love. Let us humbly ask him, Lord, give us your Holy Spirit. Help us to receive good things from your bounty with a deep sense of gratitude and to accept with patience the evil that comes to us. Teach us to be loving not only in great and exceptional moments, but above all in the ordinary events of daily life. May we abstain from what we do not really need and help our brothers and sisters in distress. May we bear the wounds of your Son, for through his body he gave us life. Lord, give us your Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, teach us to live good lives. Encourage us with your support and bring us to eternal life. We ask this through our Lord, Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This has been Morning Prayer for Wednesday of the second week of Lent. Morning Prayer is produced in Dallas, Texas and brought to you by the Confraternity of Penitence. Sacred music is provided by the Benedictines of Mary, Matthew Curtis, and composer Kevin Allen. I am David Rollins. Join us again weekdays as we continue to pray the unceasing and universal prayer of the whole people of God, the Liturgy of the Hours. <laughs>